I'm Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with Deepak Chopra. And it's coming to you from New York City, Deepak home base. My very special guest today is Steve Robinson. And he's a good friend. Uh, he's, he's the brother of a very good friend also, Ken Robinson. So Steve, I want our audience to know your current title, but then we'll go to the backstory, OK? OK. So right now, you are? I'm the Vice President of External Veterans Affairs at Prudential Financial. OK, so let's go back now. Uh, where did you grow up, sir? It's hard to say, because I never lived in one place for more than three years, mm -hmm. which is a story I heard from one of your previous guests. Your father was in the Army? My father was in the Marines. I see. And so he fraudulently enlisted when he was 15, uh -huh. and he uh, went off to World War II. Uh, he served in World War II, Korea, and five tours of Vietnam. So from the moment I was born until I was about 15 years old, my father was in war. Mm. And then your brother, Ken, also is a veteran, right? M my brother was five years ahead of me, five years older than me, and we both served over 20 years in the military, both in the Rangers and both in Special Forces. Mm. He was also in the war zone? Yes, Ken, Ken has fought in nearly every war since the 1970s. He was on one of the first exercises we did called Desert One mm, Yes. Um, as a young man, and then he's been in pretty much every war since. And were you in the war sector? I've served in the 1991 Gulf War. That was, over the course of my 20 years, that was the only major conflict that I served in. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, we were called in to do the humanitarian repatriation of the Kurds in northern Iraq. I see. You know, as a resident training in internal medicine, <clears throat> a number of years of my training were spent at a VA hospital in Boston, so I'm very much familiar with all the sicknesses that plague our veterans who've been to wars in so many different parts of the world. And uh, it was quite staggering, the amount of suffering I saw in our VA hospitals from basically people not only who had PTSD, but chronic lung disease, heart disease, diabetes, but all as a result of the trauma in one way or another that they had experienced in their, in a combat zone, so to speak. So there's a lot of suffering in this community, right? Yes, tremendous. And it's a huge population. It's a huge population, and they need all the tools they can get to help them re-engage with society. Mm. Are we re-engaging our veterans in society? I'm concerned that we're not doing enough. If you look at the numbers, the suicide epidemic is extremely high. The number of broken marriages are extremely high. The number of people who need help with substance abuse and mental health care services is extremely high. Um, I think the government is providing the response that it can, but in my opinion, the way that we're really going to bring them home is if their communities bring them home.